clearly without sound, our experience of life is incomplete. In India, three children out of a thousand are born with a hearing impairment and the numbers are only going to increase. There are various tests that can determine hearing impairment of an infant, but they are not administered either due to lack of facilities, lack of awareness or simply because of our it can't happen to me attitude, especially when it comes to our own children. A somewhat similar situation was faced by Farzad's parents. For almost one and a half years after his birth, they were unaware of his lack of hearing. There are two most important reasons behind this. One was that uh, my elder son started speaking very late after two years and the next was that he was so smart that he picked up everything you know visually so he could learn so many things just by visual clues just like clapping when to clap when to say bye like bye not say it but do it Fazad was uh, seen by me because of a suspicion of hearing loss um, and while Fazad seemed to be a bright, happy, playful child, he certainly was not responding to sound. Uh, it was imperative therefore that uh, we get a detailed hearing assessment and uh, I referred him to our uh, hearing centre. So we took him for an uh, objective test, that is uh, we had to sedate Farzad and we took him for um, Barat and SSR test and we discovered that he had no hearing. And to confirm that test we took him for a um, sound boot test in which again the same thing was confirmed. He was not reacting to even the loud sound. A child with severe to profound hearing loss uh, is quite often not uh, managed well enough with standard hearing aids. We do try hearing aids uh, but eventually Farzad uh, was deemed to be a candidate for cochlear implantation. In case of sound waves striking the ear, they pass through the canal to the eardrum. From there the sound waves are mechanically transmitted to the inner ear and amplified. In the inner ear, you can find the cochlea. The cochlea consists of three different canals. The middle canal is the organ of hearing and consists of sensitive hair cells. The hair cells can be stimulated electrically and forward the signal to the nerves and then onto the brain. In most cases of deafness, the hearing nerve still remains functional, but the hair cells have been damaged or even lost. In a cochlear implant system, sound enters a microphone and travels to an external mini-computer called a sound processor. The sound is processed and converted into digital information. This digital information is sent over a transmitter antenna to the surgically implanted part of the system. The implant will turn the sound information into electrical signals that travel down to an electrode array inserted to the tiny inner ear or cochlea. The electrodes directly stimulate the auditory nerve, sending sound information to the brain. Bypassing the damaged inner ear, the cochlear implant provides an entirely new mechanism for hearing. Actually, the day I got all the tests done, the final testing and everything done, that same day I uh, learned almost everything regarding cochlear implant. I searched through net and a lot of material was given to me by Dr. Amit Kishore also because he was finally, uh, he is the one who referred to us, referred us to uh, Dr. Nevita. So the same day I, I could, whatever I could read on the cochlear implant, I read it 
and finally i think in a day or two we decided that we have to go for the implant there's no other option because that is the best option and we should get it done as early as possible because we were losing on time because that is that was the main concern at that time the time window is like quite small for the this speech development so we wanted to get it done as soon as possible so the next point was just you know getting a date for the operation and then finally getting the operation done Fazad's surgery went extremely well. It took us just about an hour, as with any other routine ear surgery. I've used dissolving sutures, so they don't need to be removed. He'll be shifted back to the room in a short time, and all being well, will be fit to be discharged from the hospital tomorrow. And uh, one thing more is there, that bilateral implant is important. One should go for bilateral implant, because hearing from both sides is definitely going to make the process much more faster of speech development. Even if the hearing is restored, the speech is not restored because uh, speech is a learned process. As you know, when a child is born, normal child is born, they don't, they are not uh, at birth, they say, hi, mama. Why? Because they take two years to acquire speech, even a normal hearing child. So a child who is never heard and is going to hear through a bionic ear, that is um, implanted ear, so every sound has to be given meaning. Apple. Give me apple. <gasps> apple. Any delay in this can cause a repercussion for the lifelong because language learning has the age. There is a critical age for that. That is zero to two years. Okay. Tomato. Rishu, listen. Tomato, cut karo, Rishu. And the neural network in the brain is developing at that time. So it is important that when the neural network is developing, the input should be given. Otherwise, they, they will develop without any input and they may not develop also. The surgery was just the first step for Farzad into the world of sound. But to go the distance, he would need to undergo speech therapy lessons. The Sphere Speech and Hearing Clinic is one of the premier cochlear implant clinics in India. It is almost like giving a new lease of life to someone. And in this case, Farzad will probably never forget the gift his parents gave him on his second birthday. After which, his life is back on the right path. Uh, the activation day was really great. Uh, because that was the first day when Fazad was supposed to hear something. So, and uh, he was almost 22 months when uh, he got activated. And uh, uh, <laughs> he behaved in a very, very erratic manner. He started slapping me and yelling. and But that was for a very, very short amount of time. After that, he adjusted with the device very, very easily, you know, maybe for... Half an hour he was like in that uh, kind of state. After that he was uh, fine. Chota bhi kitne years ka hota hai? Chota bhi to jo chota bhi nine years ka, jutki seven years ka, Raju four years ka, Kaliya ten years ka, Tholu bolu nahi pata. Tholu bolu nahi pata. Farzad is a very bright student. He writes well, he recognizes, and he mixes up with uh, his friends also. And he's affectionate. He comes and tells me whatever his requirement is, and he is obedient also. He's just like a normal child. There's no difference. It is not only children who can be helped with this miraculous piece of equipment which after the bypass surgery is the most successful technological intervention in the field of medicine. Somehow in our society we'll go the extra mile for our children, but when it comes to our own quality of life, we resolve to somehow manage. The same attitude was taken by Mr. Ravi Anand, who in a sad turn of events lost almost 90% of hearing due to a wrong dose of medicine.
life had drastically changed. People started neglecting me. I don't blame the society for that because to there's the extent that people can cooperate with you. Every time they ask a question and I my answer is what is said, what you said, can you repeat again? So the situation comes, the other person feels that there's no point of talking to this person. He used to lose his temper and I never understood why he is losing his temper because initially he was a very cool man. You know, the Ravi I had known had suddenly changed into a very aggressive, possessive type of person. And that was difficult to take. It badly affected my personal life. Moreover, the society, it was my family, my wife and my only daughter. It was very, very difficult to digest that you are not able, not even able to communicate with your only daughter. I lost a lot of opportunities from 2007 till 2009. In 2010, I started thinking about it and got the answer why people, my business associates or the society was neglecting me. So, uh, the only answer was that he should be able to hear. At, at least when, when, when he is in personal relationships, when he is one-to-one -one in the office, he should be able to do all his work with functional ears. Mr. Anand suffered from a severe to profound hearing loss. Uh, in an individual with a severe to profound hearing loss, uh, like Mr. Anand, we had tried hearing aids, uh, but certainly hearing aids were not proving to be beneficial given the nature and the severity of his hearing loss. So in this situation, it was quite clear that Mr. Anand would certainly uh, get benefit uh, from the use of a cochlear implant. After the implant, the personal life has been really wonderful. I think it is something which I cannot describe in words. You are able to live, you are able to communicate with everybody, you are able to understand the need or the what question they are asking you. I would like to say that, um, you know, all people who have a hearing impairment, you know, they should seek good advice. They should consult the best doctors and if they can afford it, they should go in for the surgery. They should go in for a cochlear implant. I have gone through this. I have realized it and I'm really thankful that we could find out that there is such kind of operation where you can go for a cochlear implant and you can live a normal life. If implant wouldn't have happened, I don't know what, where would have been he would have been. Uh, no school, no normal life, and uh, definitely would have been very, very bad. Because uh, even today, like when I, he's bathing or even you know, you know, when he goes to sleep, when I take it off, for even those for five, ten minutes, you know, it is so difficult. You know, I just can't imagine a life without an implant. You would have been nowhere, in fact, if no implant was there because now he's going to a proper school, learning, just behaving like a normal child, playing, you know, doing everything which any normal child does. At first, he was like this and that he had no finger, no toe, good irrigation, but no, no. Wow, very good. Want to say that thank you. Without implant, it's like the world would have been different, completely different for us and even for him. It is said, wherever there is life, there is hope. Farzad and Mr. Anand have proved this with the help of this wonderful piece of equipment, which once installed, will work for you for the rest of your life. Their quick decision and right attitude has given them another chance of fully experiencing this miracle of being alive. We hope you were listening.